There's a great crazy going on right now at CTI. Crazy! CTI is really putting the IT back into CTI. <laughs> We have new marketing initiatives. We have our, our physical move. We have our new offices down in the Mid-Atlantic. Those are cool things, I like that. Huh? <laughs> we have our move to manage services as we really develop into system integrators well beyond voice. A CTI is way past just doing voice. We're definitely into data. A lot of networking collaboration is going on. We do VMware installations. Uh, high-end uh, hosted computers. Everything from a mission-critical call center to a branch home office to a large enterprise and being able to scale out. Video, I mean, chat, presence, things like that are just, just typical features that we offer today. It requires so much bandwidth from all our folks to focus and move these initiatives forward. There's business continuity solutions, either premise or cloud-based. So we're really taking the best of what the technology world has to offer and making it available to our customers. It's exciting to be a part of that team. How do you like them apples? Can I do everything? Absolutely can do all of it myself. <laughs> we are in the middle of this wonderful move after 15 years. I'm so happy it's gonna cut my commute by at least 15 seconds. So in order to get ready for our big move, I put together a moving committee. Attending the move meetings is um, a little boring. She did not just say that. So, so these meetings are every week. We spent so much time. I mean, we've been dealing with this forever. It just seems like forever. And I just want to warn you all that, though it's Monday morning, I had a double cup of coffee. Uh -uh. Did we talk and about I that? I sat in traffic for three hours to get here. So oh my God. I left my house at 5.30. I walked in at 8.38. You're fired. And I'm on Google. Exactly. <laughs> our new a space accommodates a real collaboration environment. In the new space, everyone is together. It's to make sure that we're all together in a centralized environment. Our customer service is right next to our TSO. It's right next to our project management. My favorite things about the new office is it's, we're all going to be together in one area. Be able to just pop your head up and see who's across the way for some help. It's a good thing. It's wonderful. Everybody has a question. They can just walk over or sh wave your arm and say, hey, I need a question. You hear? We're exactly one month from our official quote drop dead move day. I'm getting a little nervous that time is running out. The good news is beyond the circuits, everything else seems to be on or ahead of schedule. I'm not getting a lot of direction. It's a simple move. We're going across the street. <laughs> Nobody's really focusing on our existing space. There's files, there's artwork, there's uh, uh, tchotchke stuff. There's a lot of stuff that nobody's taking responsibility for and I just think at the end of the day, the last week, I'm going to be working my butt off just trying to get everything done. Give her a couple hundred thousand dollar pay increase uh, for as a bonus for everything she's done with this move because it's kind of dri driving her bad. I'm going to be responsible for everything. I'm going to be boxing everything. No. I mean, we need to determine what we're taking, where it's going. Yeah, that's to, a different okay. conversation, right? I am sure that at the end of the day, people are going to step up and be here to help. I think Kenny has a plane ticket to somewhere. <laughs> Well, as usual, we're off agenda. We almost rented the Wolf of Wall Street space. We were this close. We're concerned about the move. We haven't hired a moving company yet. And I was trying to think about, you know, we could do a lot of the move ourselves, right? So I have uh, an 18 year old uh, who's available. And I'm trying to see his friend. No, that, no, we're not doing that. But I think uh, Kenny has a couple of 18 year old kids who are going to do this move. <laughs> Uh, I mean, these guys can roll chairs and take light stuff. No, I'm making the final decision. It's not happening. <laughs> I mean, we're going to look like the Clampets walking down Midland Avenue with our chair rolling chairs and boxes. And... You know, we're that crazy family moving in next door. I'm not what concerned you just... about well, we my like neighbors. <laughs>
this holiday season. Give your family the gift that keeps on giving, the CTI Partner Personality Puppets. Enjoy hours of non-stop fun playing with Kenny, David, Robert, and Ben. If you need me, I will be in the Hamptons for the next two months. Women, bring me my coffee! Your kids will love them too. This is Mickey Mouse, Donald Duck, and Goofy. Sell, 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 or I'll give you hell, hell, hell. So get your CTI Partner Personality Puppets today and enjoy hours and hours of festive family fun. During our weekly MOVE meetings, we discuss all kinds of important issues. In our last MOVE meeting, Robert uh, brought up the subject of the men's uh, restroom. That was a funny conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Bathrooms are pretty bad. They need to be cleaned. Certain things need to be changed. To move the hair dryer to a different spot, not to put it in the garbage can, so when you turn the hair dryer, all the garbage gets blown right into your face. Other than that, it's really nice. <laughs> Well, why don't you smooth the garbage? Uh... I would like to get a paper dispenser installed because the blow dry may be nice, but it's useless and not that hygienic. I don't want it in the spot where it is, trust what? me. Because what? when even if I move the garbage, all the water gets blown off the floor and goes back up in the air and it creates germs. Because when the blow dry is running, it blows dirt from the floor up in the air. So what's the point? Where should we put it? Uh, I would like to get rid of it completely to put the paper towels. It's more hygienic. Yeah, what are you doing here? Now, the biggest challenge of making this move is the people here think we're rebuilding Rome. I would say that the biggest challenge with the move is trying to make everybody happy. It's small, simple, <laughs> you are attractive, but I mean, no, something, no, but no, something, no. Listen to me. No. Listen to me. It's got metal legs. He did not just say that. And there's lots of personalities involved in the decisions. That's not right. Let's just let's just drop it. Let's not discuss it anymore. I know what happened there. I know what happened there. Okay, so you know what happened, so but it's a secret. It. It's not a secret. Right. So whatever. Now maybe you want to move on, but I sometimes can't let it go. Yeah. So <laughs> so <laughs> so double express that we had this morning. <laughs> There's a lot of decisions to be made. We have a whole bunch of really terrific filing cabinets. The problem is we have this beautiful new furniture and it doesn't match. They're all beige and brown and we have all these shades of gray. So do you go out and spend $800 a piece for a new filing cabinet? No, no, you don't. So when I first got here, I had to start by moving these huge filing cabinets, which I didn't understand. I thought we could just buy new ones. Lenny, was it? who had the good idea? Me. Are you sure? I'm positive. So I don't know if it was my idea. I like to think it was my idea. But Lynn Ann likes to take credit too. So we'll give her the credit. So I suggested, well, you know, it's metal. Let's get take it to an auto detail, an auto paint shop. We're we'll taking them to a car auto body shop. And they're going to match the paint with the rest of the brand new furniture. I guess that would work. We save $450, $550, $650 a cabinet. And they're going to look brand new. So now it's just a matter of getting them over there. Instead of renting a truck, we have Tony's pickup truck, and we have Robert's van, and we can run them back and forth. No way is that going to happen. If it was my truck, I wouldn't I, give it to you. It'll get all scratched I, 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 I up. I would be afraid to get scratched or something. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, well let's do it. Hey, Ken, I would do almost anything, but nobody's touching my truck. Okay, okay. I'm almost always right. I can't always be right. This time, I'll give in. We won't take Tony's truck, we'll rent a U-Haul. Are you tired of the same old face? Ready for a new look? At Makeover Magic, our experts are trained in the art of facial disfigurement. With the help of our unskilled staff, you could go from this to this, or this to this. The possibilities are endless. So let our fully uncertified non-professionals give you the makeover you'll never see coming. Makeover Magic, in discount malls everywhere. Another really exciting thing that we're doing is we're working on our marketing and our messaging to our customers. So this is the CTI boilerplate that we worked on with Ginger. Uh, and Eli, and did my lunch come in yet? Working with Kenny on marketing can sometimes be challenging. Can you let me know when it comes in, please? All right. Okay. 
Um, so this is the C T report plate. He is sometimes all over the place. His mind thinks in its own certain ways, ways that I don't think we all do. It's so hard to focus on marketing because there's so many things going on. The managed services page. Sorry, was, my shoe is bothering me. The website and stuff. Yeah, what we say if, I'm sorry, I just was thinking about something else for a minute. I'm always distracted. I can't help but get distracted. I think I'm distracted now. Oh, I had this great idea. What is it? Oh, I forgot. Yeah, okay, I'm sorry, I, I, it's been a long day. I just, it's almost time to go home. I haven't even gotten my, everything in my lunch, so do you mind? Let's talk about the marketing initiatives that went, wait a minute, I wanna tell you something. Did I tell you about my birthday party? You know, I turned 50. Right. This year. Right. Did right. I tell you about the weekend? It was amazing. You know, I had five birthday parties. Really? Why are you talking like this when you talk like me? I oh, don't know. We have expert people using. Let in! Let in! Yeah. Let in. Could you um, maybe bring me a cup of coffee for the half of my salad? What? The days can be long here at CTI, trying to get all this done. And the only way we survive is with a bit of humor. Miss Queen, would you please bring me some coffee? Yes. Thank you. Okay. Try to keep it light at times. Yeah, they're kind of funny looking, but they're fine. Yeah, I mean, you're funny looking. I keep doing it. No, Lynn She's like my second wife, and you know, for better or worse. I need a new chair. And uh... one thing she's driving me nuts about is her throne. I thought you're getting a throne. I ordered that already, but it's gonna be late. What? 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 what, what, what? <laughs> She really thinks she's the queen. I'm the queen. <laughs> you also need, like if somebody's meeting in there and having lunch, somewhere to be able to put food so that you're not having another white spot on the table. Then she did. So then Ann leaves this hot box of pizza right on the conference room table. She picks it up and there's this white blemish right across the top of the table. Did you get that? Thank you. <laughs> what are we doing? It costs $2,000 to repair. Okay, what are we... Uh, uh, well... Coming in 2016, from the creators of this holiday's hottest regifting present, the CTI Partner Personality Puppets, comes a brand new series of supporting players to join the fun. Lynn Catherine, Howard, I'm the Queen! I get easily bored in long meetings. It's time to get back to business and back to basics. The new limited edition CTI Supporting Players Personality Puppets. The perfect present for Valentine's Day. I am so excited about the move. How do you like the new carpet? It's awful. The new office is currently under construction, but since it's only across the street, I like to go over there a lot and check out how it's going. It's been a substantial challenge to keep track of the subcontractors working in the space. And it's coming down to the wire now. I'm getting excited. I want to go over there and push the little workers. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Put those tiles, ceiling tiles in and get the carpet down. I want to, you know, I want to decorate. Your office, Kenny. You like the color? I like the color. But it's coming along very nicely. So we're going to get lockers so people can keep their personal belongings. Out of sight, out of mind, secure. Yes, I do some of the work. I mean, yeah, I do I do all of the technology things that require for us to move the circuits, the facilities. Robert is amazing. What are you doing? Running a cable. He is working day in and day out, and he takes such personal pride to get it done right. To me, sometimes I have to do physical labor. It just it makes me feel good. I care for everyone. I need to make everyone happy. Robert. You do make us happy. We love you. I think we should take a picture of the four partners together and give it to everybody in a picture frame to put on their desk. Don't you think that would be great? No. <laughs> or at least one big dartboard. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know if I could have made it through this process without Lenann. She is just there for me all the time. I think we've done a good job. You know, Kenny's pretty anal. <laughs> and uh, he came up with a, a long list at the beginning and uh, you know, we've whittled it down, we've checked them off, we've reassigned, we've decided not to, we've decided to. You know, I do, uh, I do, I don't know what I do. Hey 
Hey folks, it's Wild and Crazy Gary here from Ali Ali Office Space, and I want to show you a hot new property that just came on the market. Do you like a challenge? Do you like to walk a lot? Then this space in semi-beautiful Porchester, New York will give you everything you need to spread your business out over acres and acres of beautiful railroad-style footage. And just look at these amazing features. Long, beautiful hallways that lead nowhere. Offices on the other side of the building so you'll never know if people are there or not. Windows overlooking glamorous Midland Avenue. Miles and miles of excess wiring. And plenty of leftover decor. If that sounds good to you, then call me today for a no-obligation walkthrough. That's Ali Ali Office Space, the biggest name in bargain basement business buildings! Finally, the day of the big move comes, and people really stepped up to help out. is representative of the new CTI. As we go beyond 10 Midland Avenue, we also go well beyond voice with our new programs and capabilities as a systems integrator and managed service provider. 2016 promises to be an amazing year, and I'm excited for you to be part of CTI's next chapter. What are you doing with the camera? It's a very good question. I'm a little punchy today. I see that. Yes. Did I catch you at a bad time? No, you're having a great. In fact, you got me at a great time. I'm taking a lot of things across the street: boxes, big boxes, small boxes. Let Linen! Oh. Yes. Medium boxes, even smaller boxes. Linen! 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 Linen!